If you have seen the disaster movie The Day After Tomorrow, you may remember the hero of the story went to the South Pole to extract ice core sample from deep under the surface to do research on climate change. In today's segment of our series of in-depth reports from the other end of the world, near the North Pole, we interview the Danish scientist Dorthe Dahl Jensen, who spent five years drilling for ice in Greenland. She and her team set a new world record, digging up ice from over 2,500 meters underground. The precious discovery will help us find out what happened the last time the planet experienced global warming over 100,000 years ago. Holding a long ice core in her hands with a broad smile on her face, this is Copenhagen University researcher Professor Dorothy Dahl Jensen. The ice is uh, 2,537 meters thick at the place where we're drilling. So our, our ice core is these 2,537 meters deep. But of course we get the ice up in sections of uh, 3 meters at a time. Leading an international team of scientists from 14 countries on a five-year project, Professor Dahl Jensen drilled for samples of ice in northwest Greenland, discovering how deep the ice was and breaking records along the way. 2009 was a world record because we managed to drill 1758 meters in just one season and that left us with uh, six, seven hundred meters to drill this year and we did that. On the ice sheet, the scientists used drills and other equipment that would fill 20 airplanes. The scientists kept themselves amused, playing football and making snow sculptures, including this polar bear. All the effort, personnel, manpower and funding went into finding this ice core. The aim of the project was to get ice uh, from, from the past Amian period. And the Amian period is, is a climate period from uh, 130,000 years before present to 115,000 years before present. And it was a, a climate period where globally it was two to three degrees warmer and over Greenland it was five degrees warmer. So it's actually a, a climate scenario that's very equal to what we believe we'll have in year 2100. By extracting data from over 100,000 years ago, all stored inside this sample of ice, Professor Dahl Jensen's research could tell us if all of Greenland's ice melted in the pre emian period when the sea rose by five meters. This information will further our understanding of our climate, help predict the speed of future sea rises and the final height of the oceans. Uh, we've made a, a modeling of where we would find the old ice from, from the warm climate period, the Amian here. Uh, so you can see all over the place it's very, very close to the bottom and sometimes the basal melt uh, melts all away. More than capturing the past and future of our climate, perhaps the ice can unlock some mysteries of life. If there's any biology material in there to see what was growing there before ice covered Greenland and also try to see how long time ago is it that, uh, that uh, there was no ice here. By looking at the past old warm climate periods we can learn about what to expect in our future. Despite having to balance her family and career, Professor Dahl Jensen has stayed on the Greenland ice sheet for at least four months every year for the past two decades. Her discovery is like her baby, and she even remembers its birthday. We're really excited this about that. This, this, this was 20, 27th of July this year. Yeah.